Sean, do you got any idea where we are? Steelport. It's kind of like Bangkok's abusive father. Been here before? Spring break. Great. What the fuck does field boss mean? You don't want to know. Okay, whatever. You know where we're going? Look, I was really high the last time I was here. Just drive. It'll come back to me. So, about getting a gun. Why don't you just look up friendly fire on your phone? What? It has GPS, right? Check your map. We should let Pierce know what's up. I texted him. He's bringing the crew. Looks like we'll need more guns. Any ideas? Yeah, we raid the guard armory. They have one of those here? Right on. You can't be serious. We need guns, they have guns. I don't see the problem. Getting shot comes to mind. Blah, blah, bullets, blah, blah, blah. I just flew through a fucking plane. Also, a shitty idea. Whoa, Pierce, where'd you come from? I thought I was talking to Shandy. Not cool. Because, I mean, Pierce, well, I mean, that guy bitches about everything and... All right, all right, we'll pick a fight with the military. Good times. Wow, that still exists? What? That's where I used to score weed. Anyone from the spring break days still live around here? Yeah, I keep up with one of my exes. This place big enough for the crew? I already offered it to Pierce and the boys. Eh, it doesn't really answer the question. I know. The celebrity of the Third Street Saints was put to a violent and destructive test in Stillwater. That's where I had my first, um, on second thought, that one's kind of personal. ...internationally popular gang. However, excitement was replaced with panic when shots rang out and blood began to decorate the lobby. During the ensuing firefight, the bank's vault was ripped from the building, showering rubble down onto the bystanders below. The extent of the damage landed the Saints like so many celebrities before them, in jail, at least for a few hours. This is Jane Valderrama with your Celebrity Crime News. Here's the cash I have on me. Where's this armory? Not far, it's on the GPS. Anyway. Like some hellish children's book, the sky has fallen in Steelport. Ten people are dead after several cars came raining out of the sky, crushing an apartment building in a fiery blaze. Dozens of bodies, along with a number of crates and mangled vehicles, filled the streets nearby. Looters raided the scene before the police arrived, salvaging car stereos and sex dolls from the debris. The city morgue has not released the names of the victims killed in what seems to be a mid-air accident, and no plane wreckage has been found. This is Jane Valderrama with your Steelport Disaster Report. This week on Nightblade. Reeling from the loss of his wife, Nightblade seeks vengeance and unleashes a barrage of hellfire against all who stand in his way. Where's Mr. X? I don't know who you're talking about. All right, the guns should all be in that warehouse. Great. How are we moving everything? Maybe you should have thought about that before attacking an armory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously, how are we gonna do it? Don't worry, Pierce has that covered. Guess they're not letting us in. Shooting them probably doesn't help change their minds. Jeez, 
Please look at the size of that thing. Good idea. I'll take it with and find out. Yeah, right. Wait. You're serious, aren't you? Everyone, find shelter! around looks like UAV drone controls who the fuck says that okay is this really the time I'm just saying
enough room for this shit, right? Maybe. So what's next? What's next is you go back to Stillwater. What? No, this is my fight too. Girl, you don't get messy. Let us take care of business. Fuck you. I'm doing this for Johnny. All right. Well, if we're going to bring in the boys, we're going to need a new place. You're worried about real estate? We have guns. Let's use them. Relax, Shandi. We got it all covered.